about pigeons. Uh, we can always hear uh, this uh, little little girl, little girl boy here. Yeah? Use uh, the corn here, yeah, the corn, and then feed the pigeons here. Yeah. My, my city, my tradition, and enjoy listening my explanation. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, In the Cambodia Travel. Today, I'm going to show you the riverside in front of the King's Palace in Phnom Penh. Uh, in Cambodia, yes, I will walk through this place and you will see the beauty of uh, the city uh, and the riverside in the morning in Cambodia, yes. So, that you can uh, see the reality and then you will come and see my city Phnom Penh in personal uh, one day and if you want to come, you can contact me by uh, this uh, YouTube channel. Chào bên núi thì làm nhiều cái nát lên in the Cambodian travel, yeah, or chỉ vì phải cho về đây để để Palasoria để đầu tiên thì Palasoria để chè Riverside, yeah, in Lungo Phu me, cái chỗ mà un Chireto, số là Pasecha, ta là Phu me me có nghe từ lịch sử. Okay, anh nhá một, let's go together, yeah. Yes, uh, over there you can see the uh, Mulai Pavilion in the King's residence, but we don't go there. I will show you the the full complex of the King's residence in Cambodia next video, because some of the buildings uh, are under restoration, yeah? It is not yet uh, completed, that's why I don't want to, to show you now, but the next video when the, all the buildings uh full fully restored i will show you yeah now we walk a little bit uh on the riverside yeah so that you can see uh the local activity in the early morning today is like the buddhist holiday yeah the special day for buddhist uh, people they are coming here uh to pray yeah, over there you will see. Yeah, over there you can see uh, the shrine of the god, like Hindu god, uh, Vishnu. Yeah? And the people still believe in, in uh, like, animism or Hinduism. Yeah? It is the local belief. So they come here to pray for good luck, for business, uh, for uh, the examination. Yeah? Like the student, they come here to, to pass the examination. Yeah, over there they come here, yeah, you can see the little boy come here to take the photo for the souvenir in front of the royal palace, yeah. It's so amazing over here, look, yeah, here the infant yeah, of the royal palace. It's so beautiful in the early morning, but uh, it is still under construction. Now, I move to the riverside. Okay, I want to eat. Yeah. The traffic is a little bit busy today. But if you come here in the, the, east, the early morning or in the Evening, you will see. Yeah, yeah. it comes to play for good luck. Yeah, it is a bit against the sun. Yeah, you can see the local people. Yeah, coming here with lotus flower, jasmine flower, incense, candle, coconut. Yeah, they pray. Yeah, they pray for good luck. Yes, like this beautiful lady, yeah, they come to pray for good luck. 
ya a hundred people and over there you can see the traditional music for instrument ya yeah? because some of the desire were granted that's why we pray for the best of luck like the mix uh, belief in our country yeah? Yeah. what they want is just good luck prosperity in the family or they pray for the the loyalty from the husband or from wife or from boyfriends or girlfriend yeah yeah uh, yeah I keep walking over there and then I show you the Mekong River the intersection of the Mekong River look yeah there are a lot of pigeons there are a lot of pigeons I and mean, some people they buy the birds in the gate cage yeah they will free them yeah and also they buy fish and free them in the river to 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 get good luck you can see here the bird in the fish yeah the bird in the fish and i'm buying them to pray for the best of luck prosperity you can see that lady they are going to free them so yeah they are happy yeah they are enjoying free yeah no that that man praying for good luck yeah. Prosperity, good luck, good health, good business are uh, what they want in this life or in the future. Yeah. Yeah, the Mekong River in the section of Mekong River. The color of the water is brown now because in Cambodia is the rainy season. Yeah, there are a lot of pigeons. Uh, we can always hear uh, this uh, little little girl, little girl boy. Yeah, he use uh, the corn. Yeah, the corn. And then feed the pigeons here. Yeah. Yeah. So, in this video, I hope you enjoy seeing my explain my my city, my tradition, and enjoy listening my explanation. Okay. a bit 
it and keep going another side. Yes, after uh, watching uh, another part of the secret shrine of in a farm, I hope you enjoy it. And then I will go to another side over there. We just uh, walk there to, to enjoy seeing the river side and the local activity over there. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah, here we also have another shrine that just a copy one by the twin. Yeah, and the sellers, the vendor, are selling lotus and incense. Yeah, I still walk on this river bank. Mm. The temperature now is uh, around 32 something. I feel you bit uh, like 35 and you can see there are many flags of uh, uh, Cambodia we have three flags uh, uh, the blue one is the king's flags the blue and red one blue and red and white in the middle you can see uh, the Angkor Wat temple is our national flag and another color like yellow brown white yeah. That one is the Buddhist flag because in Cambodia most of the people uh, most of the people is Buddhist. You can see another side of the uh, the city or it uh, peninsula yeah and yeah, the peninsula. Yeah I hope you enjoy this video and you uh, enjoy watching this video and click subscribe button uh, to, to give me energy to give me power and encouragement for the next video yeah okay, we still walk through here yeah, any question or any uh, question related to Cambodia you can comment uh, below so I will let you know my country, uh, Cambodia. Yes. Yes, another part of the city over there. We have hotels, restaurants, bars, clubs, and the activity at night. Yeah, if I like like the red red area at night over there. I will show you next uh, video. Yes. Okay. Yeah, still keep walking. For this uh, moment, you can enjoy listening uh, music and uh, and uh, watching my. My city, Phnom Penh. We pronounce it Phnom Penh, but in our language we pronounce it Phnom Penh. Yeah. Okay, I will stop it over there. They are casting the nets to get the fish. Yeah. Casting the net to get the fish. So, but here. Here, they are not allowed to fish because uh, it's caused dangerous to them. Huh? Another corner over here. Yeah, they are the security guard. They drive around here to safeguard the people. It's so nice. It's so amazing.
Okay. Just uh, just uh, 10 minutes in this video. I think enough for you because sometimes you don't have any uh, any time. Just uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, but you can understand. You can see. Yeah. This is the special area uh, or the center of uh, Phnom Penh because every weekend, every festival, the local come here uh, with the families yeah, to feed the birds, to feed the pigeons here. And, uh, and here we call another one, we call uh, Tunlesa River, one of the uh, influence, yeah, one of the tributary from Mekong. Uh, but now uh, the river flows upstream over there, upstream. During the rainy season, you know, the river from the lake flow downstream. Yeah, like the natural phenomenon. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye. See you next video. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, bye bye. I hope you enjoy seeing uh, this video. And don't forget to subscribe uh, my channel to get more video. Yeah. If uh, my English is not good, don't worry. You can comment below. I can understand you. Yeah. Yeah. Ciao, gracias. Bye bye. Alla prossima.